Okay, so now we have finished removing all the motors on the SpeedyB. And now let's just remove everything from the package. So I'm not gonna remove the screws because I'm just gonna use the ones that I have so I can keep these intact in like one box. Right, so we have probably removed all these neon from the package and next we're just gonna be screwing them back onto the the basic the stator, something like that anyway. Okay, so now we have finished the installation of the motor, so we basically got them secure. They actually look pretty good, but I kind of wish that it is either black or yellow, so it kind of fits this theme a little bit better. But anyway, we're just going to test out how they work, right? So I'm not going to pay too much attention about the coloring. Next step, let's just basically going to be cutting the wires to the length of the basically the solder pad so this wire is not too long okay i'm just gonna do one and do the rest because otherwise it's just going to be too redundant and you're just gonna you're just not gonna want to watch this so let's just do one okay so that's the first one we're gonna do get the second one right here and then we're gonna get the third one right here And then com what comes with it is you are going to have to strip the wires in order to have uh, basically the iron part coming out so you can get to solder it. So we're gonna get out the wire stripper. This is the one I have. If you wanted to use it, I'm gonna leave a link down below so you can go get it. So let's probably pull it in the 12 gauge. Then you're gonna cut it. Make sure you don't cut the whole thing. And then okay, sometimes it takes a bit, a few tries because these wires are not uniform size, so it could. Well, we have to cut it. And pull. There we go. Okay. Based on what we learned, we're gonna have to make sure this is fully cut off. So cut it off like that. Use this another section to pull it off. All right, so that's basically how you strip your wires. And the third part is you're gonna have to pre-tin these soldering tips, otherwise you won't be able to get a good connection. You're gonna bring out your soldering iron. No, you're basically gonna bring out your tin. And then what we are going to be doing is you're gonna use your solder pen, soldering iron to touch the, the wire, make it a little bit hot, and then Yeah, since my wire is already containing flux, so it should be okay that we can kind of bypass. Otherwise, you should be putting flux on top of this and then doing it, it should be a lot easier that way. Okay, okay. so yep, so basically that's it. And the next step is we are going to basically solder it to the pads right here, but let's prep the pads a little bit better because right now you can see that it's after it's removed, it's kind of like uneven shape. Let's just kind of like put our iron on this to make it a little bit softer. Okay, this should be good enough. Next, let's start soldering these motor cables onto the ESC. So the first one. Okay. All right, so this should be an okay job, All right? All right, so basically this is how you do the first one and I'm just gonna finish it off the screen so you don't have to watch me do it. Such a redundant work, all right? Let's get going. Okay, so now we have complete all the installation at least at the soldering part. Now we're just gonna tuck these wires in. So we're just gonna tug it in like that. Since like this is kind of like a temporary because I most likely will be swapping it back to the older motors because I do like the KV better. But we're just gonna to put it in like that so it doesn't get in our way when we're actually testing them. The worst thing is, the worst scenario is your quad gets hit, your 
propellers are hitting these wires and that's going to be the worst scenario. All right, okay, tuck it in, tuck it in. Okay, and the next step, we will be cutting these off. Okay, we are done. Okay, so we're just gonna put out some props and we will be able to just go out and probably test fly it. Yeah, let me just clean my table, it's kinda messy. All right, so. I think I kind of like it. It does look nice on this build, but I wish it's still, I still wish it's either like super yellow or like super black. So it's kind of like goes into the theme, but this is very good. All right, we're just gonna test light this. I'll see you in the yard. Okay, so we are now at the field right now. This is my local park. I just couldn't fly this in front of my house because I think this is too dangerous in a sense. So we're gonna test it basically with the CNHL. This is the Speed Pizza Black Edition, Speed DB Speedy Pizza Drone Pro. And this one is a 150C LiPo, so it should be able to generate a lot of power. All right, so that's about it. Let's just plug it in and let's give it a go.